Hi, today I'll be showing you how you can solve problems by using ratio. First, understand the story. Oh, it looks like a farm. There's a carrot and there are some snails there. As a farmer, today I like to estimate how many snails are there in my farm. So what I should do? I go to the farm and I pick 24 snails. I pick 24 of them and then I put the mark on the shell. And then I release the 24 snails back to the farm again. So I have 24 snails and I mark them. This is what happened today. After that, two weeks later, I come back to the farm. And I go to the farm, I randomly pick 30 snails. And I check, oh, these snails with mark, and these snails without mark, this snail with mark, this snail with, without mark. So I separate this, the one with mark and the one without mark. So I found out that out of the 30 snails, I randomly collected. There are five of them with mark. Oh, are you able to notice there are two ratios there? How? Where? Let me show you. So I have one happening which is today and one happening which is two weeks later. So two weeks later I found out that there's a ratio of five mark snails to the total of snails I collected. Then here, I have another ratio. Let's complete this. 24 snails, which is marked, and also the total snail in the farm. One ratio, and another one ratio. If I put two ratios together, and if, let's say, they are proportional, I can always add an equal sign. With this, am I able to solve this? Yes. Here is the question mark. So I'm able to solve it now. After you place all the ratios together, you put it into a proportion sign. Next is solving it mathematically. First question mark at the bottom, I move it to the right so that question mark will be on top. Divide by question mark will become total snail on top which is unknown on my right side is a question mark on my left side I'll move all the numbers to the left side 24 after I move this away left with 24 let's check with the unit can I cancel off? yes there is one there is one so 24 5 per 30. After I move it here, 30 divided by 30 becomes times 30 snails. 5 will come to the bottom. Put 24 times 30 divided by 5 into the calculator. We should be able to get how many total snails are there in the farm. So the answer will be 144 total snails in the farm so this is the way scientists or farmer can check or estimate how many snails are there in the farm by using two happenings one is today one is two weeks later I collect the snails I put them up I release them back Two weeks later, I come back and I collected randomly how many snails and check oh, how many of them are marked out of how many total there. And then I identify these two ratios. I put an equal sign in between to note them as a proportion and solve it to get the total estimated snails in the farm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Next, I would like you to understand what is these three terms. 
First, half. Half means one over two. So I form pi. I only take one out of the two. Next, what is quarter? Quarter means one over four. So I'll cut my pi into four. I'll only take one out of four. Next, what does three quarter mean? Three quarter means out of this pi, I cut into four. I'll take three of them. That is the meaning of three quarter of the pi. Here we go to the story. A, B, C, their friends. They are sharing some money to buy a cake for a birthday party. So the cake costs about 122 ringgit 50 cent. So today, we're going to find out how much money paid by C, how much money paid by B, and how much money paid by A. Listen carefully. A, B, C, do not share the cost evenly. So the trick is here. C shares half of the price of the cake. A pays quarter of what B pays. So how am I supposed to find A, B, C? Because it sounds so complicated. Calm down. Understand the story again, step by step. So first, it says C shares half of the price of the cake. I don't know how much he pays. Maybe I can put it as X here. So X is the amount paid by C. So X equals to half of the price of the cake. This is quite straightforward. Put in the calculator, you should be able to get 61.25. A pays quarter of what B pays. But how much does P pay? I do not know. I'll give them one more name, which is Y. So if B pays Y, A pays quarter of what B pays. Quarter, 1 over 4. Y. So this really helps us to know Oh, how much they pay individually. So next, can I find Y? Yes, I can group this together, I think. These two. So I can say that quarter of Y plus Y equals to the total cost minus what X has paid. So, put the calculator is 61.25. 1 over 4y plus 1y, it becomes 5 over 4y. Next, oh, I have y here and I have all the numbers. So, I need to put y on one side, all the numbers on one side. So, y is already here. I don't move it. I just leave it here on the left. I'll move all the numbers to my right and this is the number on the right already I will leave it here next is moving this to here so what is the relationship between 5 over 4 and y? oh there is a times in between so to move this I need to move the multiply together moving here it becomes divided by 4 I can put 2, it becomes times 4. 5 on top, it becomes 5 at the bottom. So put it in the calculator, you should be able to get 49 ringgit. So 49 equals to Y. So B pays 49 ringgit in sharing the cake cost. Now, I'd like to find how much A has paid. So I can say that the price paid by A is Z. So Z here is 1 over 4Y. How much is Y? From here I know this Y is 49. Put in the calculator, I should be able to get 
RM 12.25 So with this understanding of the problem stage by stage I'll be able to find half of the total cost half I can get the answer next quarter of what B pays so I total them together I total up the cost left and then I'll be able to find how much did B pay with B pay I can calculate how much did A pay okay so understanding what is half, what is quarter, and what is three quarter are very important. Let's go to the football game. A team played 28 games and won 4 out of 7 games. So for every 7 games they play, 4 won. How many lose? Part A. How many games did this football team lose? So we can write down, for every 7 games they play, for we and 7 minus 4, 3 lose. So they have played 28 games all together, 28 games. So I came back to the ratio. What is the relationship between this 7 games and 28 games oh it becomes bigger times 7 4 28 so I would say 4 times 4 we'll be able to get 16 games they won and 3 times 4 so 12 lose How many games did this football team lose? So here is answer. 12 games. Part B. Calculate the team's win-loss ratio. So the ratio of win to loss. Going back to the question. For every 7 games, 1, 4. 1, 4. 7 minus the win as 3 loss so the team's win loss ratio is 4 to 3 or we can also get it from part A 4 1 to 3 loops part C if this trend continues estimate the number of losses of team once they have won 20 games so understand the question first it says if the trend continues trend means if every 7 games they play, 4 win, 3 lose, this is a trend. Every 7 games, 4 win, 3 lose, continues. Estimate, 预测, the number of losses of team. Once they've won 20 games. If they won 20 games, how many times they have lost? Look at the ratio that we got it from part B. So, they say if win to loss the ratio is 4 3 before okay we copy this down and then it says if let's say the team continues to win for 20 times how many times they will lose can you see the ratio yes i can put this as happening a this as happening b so I can easily put 20 over 4 equals to question mark over 3. I put this as an equal for proportion because I know for four every seven games they play, 4 win, 3 lose. And then this is the relationship between that. So I can find that the question mark here on the top, so I'll leave it on the top and then I'll move all the numbers to the right. So 20 divided by 4, divided by 3, 
move to the left, divide becomes times. So I'll get 60 divided by 4, which is 15 times. The team will lose. Alternatively, I also can put it in this way. The ratio of win to loss is 4 to 3. So if they have won 20 games, how many games they will lose? So I don't know. But I can find a relationship between these two. So 4 to 20 becomes bigger, so times. 4 times what number becomes 20? 414, 428, 4312, 4416, 45. 20. Ah. Left times 5, right times 5 as well. 3 times 5 becomes 15. So for every... If they have won 20 games, 15 games they'll be losing. This way and this way, both I will get the same answer. Also, besides ratio, we are also using proportion. Putting two ratios equal together and then solve accordingly using mathematics operation.